that's a win in your hometown, no less. You can see the O2 from your apartment building, I understand. How special was that? Brother, uh, that's very emotional for me, you know, because I just live across the river. From my window, can see O2 Arena, you know, and that's the place I made my debut. And also, I was carrying so many pressure to fight against this guy. Uh, then Robert, I have a lot of respect for him. Because last fight I beat Nordin Taleb and Nordin finished him in like one minute, I don't know, but it was quickly in the first round, you know? Like deep inside my heart, like everybody was like, oh man, you're going to smash this guy, it'll be an easy fight. But there's no easy fight, you know? Also, I used to say uh, the previously uh, victories cannot guarantee us anything in the future fights, you know? We have to work hard, we need to train hard. We gotta, I gotta, I, I do things that people, average people don't want to do every day, you know, I wake up, I train, I come out of my comfort zone, and man, I try to train with always better people than me, I get my ass kicked in the training, and tonight, man, I was, like, tonight I was really like, uh, I, I guys out because of the adrenaline, I'll be honest, but tonight I, sh I show how, how big is my heart, how bad I want to win, and I make him tough. Give us your take on the finish, because there's a fair amount of controversy. It's been criticised online, and Dana White was very vocal about how the fight ended. How did it? How did it go from your perspective? Do you think the stoppage was was correct? Um, and, and how did it? How did it feel to you when you were in? Oh, absolutely. You know, the referee uh, told me like it, verbal tap, verbal tap. If somebody shout when you have the submission on, it's a verbal tap, and that's what he did. You know, he shout twice. So at the end of the day, he gave up. You know. I applied the arm bar and he gave up. He was elbowing me in the face, he cut me off and I was just laughing. I was like enjoy, you know, because I never been in that uh, place before. I was enjoy every, every single second of the fight. I don't care for that adversity, you know. Some people they quit in their adversity and, and other people they, they, they make like great things, you know. They make records and that's what I did tonight. It was ground and pound me, strong elbows and I just take my time and make it tough. I just show how good I am in BJJ. I'm a, I'm a true BJJ black belt. So. How did it feel coming back? Because obviously you, you fought last uh, back in uh, Liverpool back in May. But you were due to fight again, weren't you, in Russia? But that did go to plan because of injuries. Can you talk a little bit about kind of the injuries that you've suffered recently? Yes, I had like a, a low back injury after wrestling practice. Um, I took a shower and. But then I tried to move, I tried to pick up something on the floor, I couldn't bend my, I cannot uh, bend over. Also, I cannot bend my knees. I couldn't squat, I couldn't move. I was very, uh, I was very worried because it's a low back. I was like, oh my God, I just come from very uh, time off and now it's again, it's happened again. But um, I try to keep positive all the time. I went to the doctor straight away. And uh, I don't want to, oh, uh, it's not worth to risk, you know, it's not worth to fight when you have serious injury like that. So I say, do you know what, I'm going to take my time, get better, and start training again. And that's what I did, you know. Uh, nowadays on my camps, I'm, I'm trying to listen more my body. If I wake up and I, I feel that I don't have to train, I don't train. I just recover. We have a same Brazil, recovery is training as well. So that's what I'm follow up now, you know, if I feel any like, it's gonna, if I don't, if I don't want to train, if I feel my body, I, I listen to my body. So how does it feel then to, to come back from all of that and then, and then get the submission win here tonight? Well, it feels great. You know, uh, I used to say, doesn't matter how long I stay without fighting. Uh, fight is the the air that I breathe. It's the, the the water that I drink. You know, I don't care how long I stay without fighting. I breathe fight all the time, and that's my life. And you know, I'm a true fighter. So I always think about fight and dream about, about fight. You know, sometimes uh, my friends, they go crazy with me because I walk and I walk like this, fan and make like takedowns. Even my coach in Brazil, he was like, come on, man, stop doing that. What people will think about you? Because I was walk on the street and I was like, mimic what I'm gonna do the fight. You know, I'm a true believer that if you drill, 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 you'll never make mistakes. So. Do you feel like you're getting the credit you deserve, Claudio? I feel like after you took such a long time off due to injury and you got the win over Nardine, do you believe this win against Danny it will make people recognize what a threat you are in this division? Well, definitely, you know. Uh, the results speak for itself. So it's four fights, four victories, two finish in the UFC against Nardine Taleb, against Dan Roberts, Leon Edwards, 
uh, Bradley Scott, so what, mo what more I have to prove? Give me anyone, I will break them down, I will break their spirit. Just bring them in, you know. I'm a Cloud Silva, I'm the Hannibal, British Zillion, so let's do it. Anytime, anywhere, just throw me the names and I will break them up. Is there anyone you particularly want? Like, is there a fight out there that would particularly appeal to you in that division? Yes. Uh, is there a fight, fighter that you'd like to face in the division? I can face anyone, man. I don't care. I don't really care if they are big name, if no name, you know. At the end of the day, I will get paid the same. Just bring to me, they will become highlights. So, <laughs> anyone, anytime. After being away for so long and the comeback was kind of curtailed a little bit through the injury, now you're back. We're going to start seeing, seeing you a lot more regularly inside the cage. How often do you want to fight this year? Wow, man. I'm, it's like my biggest dream is to make like four fights or five fights in one year. That's my biggest dream. And uh, I will take two weeks off, do some holiday, and I will, go, I will come back, you know. I would like to camp and do some surf, and then I'm, I'm going to be there again training and looking, for, looking forward to compete soon, you know. Thanks very much. Brilliant. Thank you. Sorry for English, guys. English is a little bit. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good.